very, very much. I love you guys. You're changing the world, not just the United States. Look, folks, uh, my name is Joe Biden. I am Jill Biden's husband and a friend of Chad's. And I go wherever he asks me to show up. Folks, uh, I, uh, as I used to say in the Senate, to excuse the point of personal privilege, I, uh, I think that I've worked with Chad uh, since he's headed this organization, actually a little before that. And I think he has done a truly, truly, truly remarkable job. And what a wonderful day and a wonderful way to start off the month of pride. But let me, before I begin, actually thank you. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Those of you who know me and a fair number of you do. I, uh, um, I thank you for my children, my grandchildren, and all the kids that, uh, that uh, I see every day on campus as a professor at Penn and all those folks out there who are, uh, you know, you've done as much for straight folks as you have gay folks and le lesbian folks. No, no. You know, when uh, Chad and others give me more credit for coming out in, on television in 2012 and meet the press, um, I had told the president that uh, I wasn't going to uh, push things because that wasn't right where we were yet, but if asked, I was not going to remain quiet. And, uh, And Mr. Mayor and all the Ohio representatives, including Elizabeth Brown, the daughter of a great United States Senator, Sherrod Brown, who are here at the Human Rights Campaign. I, uh, as you may remember, I caught a little bit of grief for, uh, <laughs> for saying that. You were awesome. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I was raised by a man who was awesome. By a man who was awesome. I told the story, and I'm going to tell it again. I uh, was a high school kid trying to get a job as a lifeguard in the east side of Wilmington in the projects, the largest uh, city swimming pool, because I was involved with, as a kid, trying to get involved in the civil rights movement. And I was the only white employee in the east side for a while. And I stopped off to pick up an application in what they call Rodney Square, the corporate center of America at the time. And I was getting out of the car to go in the courthouse to get my application. My dad dropped me off. And there were two men, well-dressed men, standing in the corner. And they kissed. We were stopped at the light. They kissed, and one walked to the Hercules building. It used to be the big company there. And the DuPont, other one to the DuPont building. He just turned and looked at my dad. And he said something simple and profound. He said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. Simple. They love each other. Not a joke. But the truth of the matter is, so many of you, particularly those of you who are a little older, had given so much taken such risks, done so much to change the attitude of Americans. People are afraid of what they don't know. And as you came out and more and more came out, they realized, that's my cousin. That's my brother's friend. That's my neighbor. That's the folk I play ball with. That's the person in my study group. They're just like me. They're just like me. And all the stereotypical notions began to erode and fade. Because the American people, I get credit for saying something that took any courage. First of all, my father came down from heaven if I didn't do what I did. But the, second, <laughs> but the second reason, all kidding aside, was a lot of people, as you, remember, you may remember, not the president, but a lot of other people thought I had just committed this gigantic blunder. I told the president, asked, I was not going to be quiet. And uh, the next day, uh, when I walked